Hello, and welcome to Mission Earth. I am your captain, and it is my mission to read all the best books on planet Earth. Now today, I've got my best friend, a cute little bear. She's pink, she's small, she's got a heart on her body. And I, for one, love her. And I've got a very special book brought by my good friend, Teacher Phil. It's called Bear Came Along, and it's written by Richard T. Morris. Everybody, I hope you will enjoy. Now, please welcome Teacher Phil. Hey, Captain. <sighs> What's that? This? I've never seen one before. Well, this is a special kind of bear. What kind of bear? It's called a panda bear. <gasps> Where did you get it? Uh, I got this in Chengdu, in China. Your bear is so cool. Well, I was thinking for this read-along, for Bear Came Along, mm -hmm. that we could have some more animal friends. We've got, of course, my dear sloth, my cute little bear, and a kangaroo and her baby. Okay, that's perfect. We got my panda bear, and I also have a penguin and her baby. Wow, we have a lot of animal friends, and they've all come together just like you have for us when we read Bear Came Along. Fortunately for us, backstage teacher Phil read this book. I hope you will enjoy. Please have a listen. Let's read Bear Came Along. Once, there was a river that flowed night and day. But it didn't know it was a river until Bear came along. Bear was just being curious. When he realized what the river could do, but he didn't know he was on an adventure until Froggy hopped on. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend. But she didn't know how many she had. Until the turtles show up. The turtles tried to warn them about the things that could go wrong. But they didn't know how to enjoy the ride. Until Beaver climbed aboard. Beaver was born to captain. He knew exactly where to go. But he didn't know about the detours until... The raccoons dropped in. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead, but they didn't know they had to be careful. Until... They crashed into Duck. Duck was so content being right where she was, but she didn't know there was a world to see until Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to Turtle. Turtles held on to Beaver. Beaver held on to Raccoons. Raccoons held on to Duck. Oh, what a ride. So many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until the river came along. The end. Wow, what an incredible book. And you read it so well. But I'm wondering, do you think that the animals know where they are going? Well, I think most of the animals don't. But the beaver, the captain, mm. felt really confident. That's right. I think he thought he knew where they were going. Sure. But it seems like the captain didn't know where he was going because they reach a waterfall. Mm -hmm. 
How did the animals feel when they got to the waterfall? Well, I think if I saw a waterfall, and just like the animals in the book, I would feel scared because if I fall down, I could get hurt. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But at the same time, after they fall down the waterfall, mm -hmm. you know, it's very dangerous to go down a river and even more dangerous to go down a waterfall. Mm -hmm. But it looks like the animals are having fun. Well, I think the animals had fun because, number one, going down a waterfall can be exciting because mm -hmm. you don't know what's going to happen. It's like jumping into a swimming pool. Number two, no one got hurt. And number three, they were all in it together. So it's more fun when you have friends with you. That's true. That's very true. Well, that was a great book. Thank you for reading it, Teacher Phil. But I've got some questions for you. I want to know, when did you have the most fun with a friend? Well, for me, uh, my friends like to try new restaurants, eat together and talk. Simple things like sure. that. Very good. Yeah. And I also want to know, have you ever made an unlikely friend well, in an unlikely place? Well, I didn't expect to meet a captain like you from outer space. Oh, well, that's great. But I've got two little animal friends that haven't been here yet. They've got some very big questions for you. Okay. Please meet Miss Elephant. Okay. What's your question, Miss Elephant? I'm sorry, I, d I don't speak elephant. Sorry. Don't worry, Miss Elephant. I will talk with him later. Well, what about my other friend, Mr. Fox? You're going to have to speak English. Okay. <sighs> Teacher Phil, everybody. You know, I learned something today. Sometimes you can make unlikely friends in unlikely places. And also, even when you feel scared, as long as you've got a friend there together with you, everything will be all right. <sighs> well... Tune in next time for more stories brought to life.